Hi, I'm Joe Karras, and you join me today at the beautiful Packington Summers Fishery. And we're just leaning into what I feel, think is another nice little F1. And we're testing out the uh, Tricast Trilogy Commercial feeder rods, an absolutely brilliant bits of kit. I've been using them now for probably eight months. And I absolutely love them. There we go, another nice chunky F1. And we're just fishing a little hybrid feeder today. Okay, there we go, nice little F1. Hooks in the bottom lip. Let's get the feeder loaded and catch another one. But we're just using a little hybrid feeder, casting it right against that far bank, putting a few nice little fish together. But these rods are absolutely awesome. This 10 foot model in particular is a bit of a personal favourite. There's three in the range, an eight foot little tiny dinker for uh, snake lake type fishing. This 10 footer, which is like your all rounder and then 11 footer, which is, you know, for ranges like 40 yards. This one though, the 10 footer, for this sort of 25, 30 yards sort of fishing, absolutely brilliant. Let's get this feeder back in. You see, we're just pinging it across there. Nice and tight against the grass. There's a lot of benefits with these rods because a lot of rods on the market now are really through action rods. Yeah, absolutely beautiful for playing fish. They'll bend right through, almost to the butt. But when it comes to casting, leave a little bit to be desired, to be honest. They're a bit flexible and the, the casts go a bit wayward. But with these, they've got plenty of poke, so you can really punch your feeder into where you want it. And you know that, oh, there we go, another one. And you know that the feeder's going where you point it. But then when you hook a fish, as you can see there, lovely battle curve. Absolutely gorgeous rods. Action's hotting up now. You see there, look, the rods just, I mean, these are only pound and a half, two pound fish, but this rod bends lovely, even with ease. There we go, another F1. Beautiful. One thing that's really like worth mentioning, for anybody who's been using like tri-cast feeder rods in the past, um, the actual tips on these, they're all carbon. They're actually pushing, which to a lot of you may not be like a big deal, but tri-cast rods in the past have always been push over. And they do blend lovely with a rod, but these pushing tips are a little bit more slimline. They're blending beautifully with a blank. And I must admit, I, you know, I think it's a real big step forward for, these, for the tri-cast rods. The rings and everything, there's some new unique design rings that you don't that you don't actually see on the oh I thought he was gonna fly around again. Um, and they stay nice and close to the blank so that everything's transmitted through that rod blank when you're playing a fish. Um, everything's just super tight and effective. The handles are the right length, the reel fitting's absolutely brilliant, real high quality. Just a great, great tool really for the like modern day commercial fishing. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Well, there we go, another F1, I think, coming to the net. On the Trilogy, on the 10 footer, like I said before, probably my favorite rod out of the three. Look at that bend. Oh, might be a little carp, this one. It's fighting hard. Oh no, another F1. But yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you go and check out the Trilogy commercial feeder rod range, because in my mind, they're absolutely brilliant. 